The footage that these girls' families hoped not to see. Khadiza Sultana, Amira Abaze and Shamima Begum, the three missing teenage girls from East London on the move abroad. The car number plates give away their location. They're more than 2,000 miles away in Turkey. Take the Syrian passport. One of the men who's with them says, take the Syrian passport. Wearing coats ordinarily they may have worn to school, with their handbags over their forearms filled with luggage, the girls were led away. The footage was broadcast in Turkey today for the first time, following the arrest of a foreign spy there. The Turkish authorities allege he helped the girls on their way to Syria. They haven't revealed which country he's from. Experts here aren't surprised the girls managed to get help. These girls before they left will have been in contact with other people in Syria who will have facilitated their arrival there, who will have given them names and addresses of people to go to, phone numbers of who to ring, uh, and it, it's the, the logistical advice that comes with being in contact with people already there that will have helped them get there. British police believe the girls left their homes in East London on the 17th of February to join Islamic State militants. But in recent weeks, the spotlight has shifted away from their worried families and on to the authorities. The question, could they have done more to stop the girls from leaving? It's a terrible situation they find themselves in. Sir Bernard Hogan Howe from the Metropolitan Police apologised that a letter intended for the girls' families asking for them to be interviewed wasn't handed over. The families of the girls and the police have yet to comment on this latest footage. But the degree of planning and organisation these girls require to leave home is becoming clearer. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.